It's Christmas Eve, and uh, we are going to Alex's family Christmas party tonight, and I am going to be baking some cookies. So um, he has to work. Mailman doesn't take Christmas Eve off. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be making some cookies, and then he'll be home. We'll get ready, and we'll go to our party. But I thought I would film some of the cookie process. So I'm making two types of cookies. One is a candy cane white chocolate chip cookie oh my gosh my face is so red it's super cold in nashville right now um and my skin is probably just really dry even though i haven't even been outside but anyhow um what was i saying oh i'm making cookies <laughs> making white chocolate candy cane cookies and then by alex's request snickerdoodle i guess that's one of maybe his favorite um his favorite cookies so We've, I've learned that this year. Also, I we wrapped all the presents. Um, we didn't film that because we were like sprawled out all across the um, kitchen and it was just, it was present wrapping chaos. But it was kind of a nice little station the way we set it up this year. Um, so that was fun. We just had this table like fully be the wrapping station. And then I hung the bags from back there and had all my little like tissue paper and boxes and then we put all the presents over here on the chairs we set the chairs over here and we put the presents on top so that they were like all in the same place and it was actually not that bad and we wrapped a lot of presents like check it out all the gifts all the gifts so we really just have a big family like he has a big family i have a big family and a lot of gifts so but we did that we did our wrapping and now yeah all that's left is just cookies and celebrate so here's cookie time Christmas. I made Alex get up early. Usually he makes me get up early, but he's been working hard and I can't sleep anymore. So the sun's up. The sun is up. The sun is awake. So I'm awake. I told him we could take a Christmas nap later. So, but I want to open my stocking. It's been killing me. I got to open it. You got to open it? Yeah. Oh, and we got Ash's stocking. This is for you. Ooh, nice. And we got... Christmas coffee. I used the last of the Christmas coffee that we got. Mm -hmm. So good. All right. One thing at a time? One at a time. Wait, this is yours. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, babe. I'm gonna knit. <gasps> We're starting off strong. That's the one thing Alex is like the giant hinted at me. Ferrero Rocher. <laughs> I would like one of those. Mm. <laughs> hey, this is mine. That's a, I said that's oh. the thing. That's what you told me. That's the one thing you like told me. I thought you were saying you'd you, like one you of put those. My, you put the receipt in here in case I want to return stuff. Yep. <laughs> I didn't want you to see it around the house. Oh, smart. My favorite snack. <laughs> I love these little mini goldfishes. Mm. Hey. That's a one setting snack. <laughs> you had some breakable. I told you I had something breakable. Terry's? This is a double gift. Oh, that, 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 I had to fit it in your stocking somehow. <laughs> Mister! You think that's a big enough mug? 
I yeah. thought it was a good size. I think so. I like the gold on it. Maybe too. You know how you do these? This is a orange. Okay. It looks like a miniature Ferrero Rocher, but it's actually an orange that's chocolate. So it's like it's like chocolate, but it's flavored with orange. And the way you have it is you smash it on the hard surface and it cracks the orange chocolate. It's very cool. How it I goes. I'm I, I knew what it was and I know that you like them, mm. but I will have no part in it because I don't think chocolate and oranges go together. It's so good. But yeah, I wish it was that easy to open an orange. You just hit it on a hard surface and the slice. Why do you wish it was that easy? I peel your oranges for you. Hey, I open two things. Okay, so I get to go two gifts now? Yeah, yeah I had to take that out of its box. It wasn't a box, but I took it out to put it in the mug so it would fit in your stock. Ooh, that's perfect. I didn't even know these existed. <laughs> I always tell Alex he has to watch me because my lip gloss will like gather right here on my lips and uh i think i didn't I, I told him i needed to exfoliate my lips and i meant like a scrub but this is a literal lip exfoliator mm -hmm. focus focus there it goes a lip exfoliator i literally did not know that these existed what i'm super do? excited to use this thanks you're welcome and I won't take it as an insult. I don't think you think my lips are crusty. No. I literally told you that I would need to take my lips. <laughs> Ooh, sour gummy worms. That's my other favorite candy. Mm -hmm. We should take this to the movie. There you go. <laughs> we'll have all the snacks. Yeah. Oh, well, buddy, you want, you want to open your stocking? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay. My so turn again. Me. Yep. Uh-oh. The calming sheet mask with Mr. Elf on it. Hey, we need to do a face mask. Yeah. Mm. What? It's got lavender. Lavender. Ooh, beautiful color. A new claw clip. Pull out the Gotta blue. love those. Thank you. I love it. What do you call it? Claw clip. Claw clip. I thought the blue would be good with the eyes. Oh, thanks. Mmm. <laughs> the other package. The other day, were we at the grocery store or at Target? The grocery store. She wasn't looking, and this was like one of my favorites. Like I would tell you now. Childhood. No M&Ms for you. This is one of my favorite childhood snacks. The miniature M&M's in a can. And I snuck one in on her the other trip, or the other day on our trip to the grocery store. <laughs> she didn't notice it until it was getting rang up. Well, thank you. I have to get the Christmas ones. Mm-hmm. Ooh, a new book, Milk and Honey. It's a book of rhymes. Ooh. Can read it this is the journey of surviving through poetry. That is the blood, sweat, tears of 21 years. This is my heart in your hands. This is the hurting, the loving, the breaking, the healing. I've seen this author before. They have a lot of um, little, like their books look all look like this. I think the last page has something about the book. For the arms that hold me. Milk and Honey is a collection of poetry about love, loss, trauma, abuse, healing, and femininity. It is split into four chapters. Each chapter serves a different purpose, deals with a different pain, heals a different heartache. Milk and Honey takes readers through a journey of the most bitter moments in life and finds sweetness in them. Because there is sweetness everywhere if you are just willing to look. Thank you. I love that. You're welcome. That'd be a cute one to put on our shelves, too. Yeah. Aesthetic. Oh, yeah. My turn. Your turn. Ooh, a thermal. I thought it was cozy looking. A Henley thermal. I like that. And the it's color. a nice color. Can you tell the color? Yeah. It's a very nice, like, green almost. Yeah, I think it's green. I love this. I love Target's clothing. I, 
I didn't Honestly, know. they have really good clothing. Like, yes. good quality stuff. I just recently come across that. Like, a few months ago. This brand, too, is most of what you've gotten. All in motion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. It feels really nice. It fits good. Well, thanks, babe. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do our mask together. Yeah. <laughs> I saw this <laughs> when I was looking for a mask for you. <laughs> we'll do our mask together. This one is not for my face, though. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's a butt mask. <laughs> Keep your lips and your butt soft and smooth. Are you saying my butt is not smooth? No, it's smooth. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Ooh, more cotton. Ooh. This will go with my new shirt. I thought it would just be a little cozy and casual it's all green. outfit. I'm more of a Fifty Shades of Green kind of guy. I thought it kind of good, looked good together too. Like yeah. They're different enough greens that they... This will be a nice lounge on yeah. my day off when I'm yeah. here with you. You like it? Yes, I love it. Ew. Those are new. Cool. If it does Hair elastics? The... the Sign says they should be easy on you. Yeah, no damage because they're like. I know you like those not... ones that are real thin, that are like that size. That I thought was like it looks like a garter. Oh yeah, because they yeah. I thought these just mm -hmm. looked like new, prettier. Yeah, that's of like them. a new version of those. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Good morning. I got more. Down here. Oh yeah, you got one down there. I couldn't fit this in the stocking. <laughs> Just one? Yeah, just one. Oh, That's your go. Ooh. I'm going to have one of these with my cup of coffee. <laughs> I'm immediately opening these. Me and Tori love Pepperidge Farm cookies. And this looks like a holiday exclusive. That looks like your favorites. The Milano cookie, the holiday exclusive hazelnut hot chocolate. Mm. Are you kidding me? Hot cocoa. Yeah, I had to get those. Let's go, go. I had to get those for you. I'm about to break into these. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, this feels familiar. Does it? He passed! <laughs> I promise we didn't talk about this, but I talked about it on the camera. I was like, if Alex loves me, he'll get me the matching one. <laughs> yes, and I did. It will go with your office. It will go with my office, and we can match. We can match. We don't have a Mr. and Mrs. Mug. <laughs> That's so sweet. Yes. I was going to make us go back and buy the missus for me if you didn't get it oh. for me. <laughs> well, there you go. I wasn't going to make you buy me the mister. Because I knew you'd be happy with that one. I love it. I the got thing, one more. Yeah. The thing that I didn't get... Oh, go ahead and do your last one. Mm. You got some cotton. Cotton. Aw, Tink. I thought it would kind of go with your sweatpants. It's like the same color. Yeah, it will. Aren't they Mickey? They're Mickey, yeah. yeah. Tink and Mickey, that's a cute little, cute little loungy shirt. Yeah. Thanks, babe. I love You're Tink. welcome. I think we both did really good. I think so, too. We good do for know us. each other, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so there was a little NYX lipstick. Oh. And it just looked like a really cool, cool color. Oh, okay. I think it was Milano. And I was like, maybe if I get this, we'll go to Milano. Oh. Um, but I guess the register lady just like dropped it. It was super tiny. But I, they usually... Like this big? Yeah, it was like like that. Oh, like a normal size. So maybe it fell through my cart. Because, oh, you maybe. know, Target's carts are like... They have little... Yeah. Exes. I don't know what happened to it. That's okay. But. I bought myself a NYX lipstick. <laughs> not, that uh, not that night. Oh. <laughs> not that night, but... Actually, I bought myself a Halsey lipstick, too, so oh. we're, we're even. <laughs> well, thanks, baby. I love yeah, everything. Thank you. That was great. We love and know each other. We do. We did good. <clears throat> so this was the one that you were like, yeah, if you don't get this, I, was like, I married wrong. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is a good mug. If he, if Alex loves, I think I said, yeah, if, if he knows me, he'll get me the matching one. Oh, man. <laughs> I saw this and I was like, it's gold. It says Mrs. 
It'll them, be great in your office. Together. And you love coffee. Adorable. Isn't this sweet, Ash? Butthole on camera. Butthole. There's a little mouse. You see a mouse? It's gonna stink. Santa! Ooh, this is fun. Any camera shot? Look at all your toys. That's enough of that for now. <laughs> I want it in this little square, his circle. You want to split it? What is it? What is it, buddy? So, I've been wanting to watch How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days for a long time. Like, it's been on the list a long time. And one of the songs on there is trending on TikTok right now. And uh, I also remember that I think it's centered around Christmas, too. So, we're watching it. And uh, do you want to expose our... One of our gifts. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and say what we got. Yes. We're going to New York. New York. <laughs> We're going to New York. Alex's mom. We're going to New York. And Nana got us a trip to go to New York City. So we we're super excited. Camera died. Um, so we're going to New York City. That New was York one of City. our gifts that we opened last night. Was a trip to New York City in February. We're super excited. That was harder to keep a secret. I can't believe he knew because she had to plan it around my work schedule. Yeah, like at a good time, um, and he did not all hint at is pay, all. Baby. <laughs> that was hard to trip keep to from New me York. So I'm super excited, um, but yeah, this is like set in New York too. So we're gonna we're gonna watch it and just get all the New York vibes. Facts. <laughs> I'm so excited. New York Christmas vibes. Woo! Yes. It's gonna be such a cool trip. Such a cool trip. We we flew into New York when we went to Barbados, Barbados this um, this October, um, and we didn't really get to see it. I was so excited because I was like, we're gonna get to fly over New York. I'm gonna be able to see it. And you really couldn't see much um, of the city from the airport, but it made us. It gave us a little bit of a like ants in our pants to go mm -hmm. to check it out because <laughs> we were just so, in the airport yeah we, so. we got to see the airport but we really wanted to get out and just explore it's like a, a fish in an aquarium tank i was like what's out in that big blue world <laughs> so we're super excited but anyhow we're gonna watch how to lose a guy in 10 days and i already baked all my cookies they were a hit mm -hmm. um i'm gonna come in here so that our light is better they were definitely a hit I did a white chocolate chip with peppermint, like little pieces of peppermint, and people people seem to like them, but these, I think, stole the show, the Snickerdoodles. And that Good was old-fashioned. Mm -hmm, that was Alex's uh, request, Snickerdoodles. So, but yeah, good cookies. We had a great dinner last night. Great dinner. Fish, turkey, mm -hmm. potatoes, mac Everything. and cheese, broccoli and cheese. Tons of desserts. The whole thing. Carrots, green beans. Beans, mm. greens, tomatoes, potatoes, lamb, ham, hog. Sausage balls. Um, a pepperoni plate. Yeah. Ooh, it was fire. delicious. <clears throat> truly, truly a great Christmas Eve. Good to be back around family again. Yeah, we enjoyed ourselves. Round two today. On the Christmas day. Round two. We go to my, my family's Christmas. Mm. We're going to get out of these pajamas. Noon. Yeah. We're up nice and early, though. It's only 8.30. We got time. And all we have to do for my Nana's is... I already made the cookies, but... Um, the car. Bread rolls. 
bread rolls. We're gonna make bread rolls because we're having um, like pasta. pastas. A pasta. Yeah, we're doing pastas instead of the whole Christmas dinner you're trying thing again. You trying to expose me? I'm trying to just make you put in the camera, but I'll just film myself. I'm trying to look Banana boy. Have this yellow <laughs> potassium glizzy. <laughs> Um, I never knew that hot dogs were called glizzies until like recently, very recently. I think it's a new term. I think it is too. Or maybe it's like a Northern thing that's trickled here. Not my glizzy. So I think any... people actually call a glizzy a gun and somehow it's transli translated into a hot dog. Well, hot dogs can kill you. Death by hot dog. Um, <laughs> anyways. I forgot what I was about to say. We're going to have some good times in New York. Good times in New York. So stay tuned. We got to plan a New York the trip. Opera. Ah, oh my gosh. I, how did you not tell me then? Mm. How did you not tell me then? Because I had literally no clue. Like, absolutely no clue. And I sent Hillary Clinton posted a <clears throat> picture on Instagram. My dog. I love Hillary Clinton. <laughs> she posted a picture on Instagram and she was like, Phantom of the Opera is leaving Broadway for the first time in 35 years. And I love Phantom of the Opera. I used to be obsessed. In middle school, I went through a phase where I would just have that on my TV, like nonstop. I had bought the DVD, the Andrew Lloyd Webber, like, um, Gerard Butler. Gerard Butler, yes. Emmy Rossum version mm. of that movie. Um, I just became obsessed with that play. But anyways, Alex has taken me to see it once before because they came to T-Pac. And we have an ornament on it. And we have an from. ornament on the tree from it. But it is leaving, I think in April is the last time it's going to be on Broadway. Um, so we're definitely going to try to catch the Phantom of the Opera while we're there. Mm. And I'm so excited. We need to get our tickets. Yeah. Because they're like minimal. Like... Very there minimal. aren't that many, so um, I guess they announced that it was leaving, and everybody was like, "No!" So maybe it'll stay a little longer. Yeah. I think they already extended it once because of the way that tickets prices sold. So, but yeah. I'm so excited. So excited. Yeah. So we'll start getting That's on our, our plan game. Yeah, we got to get on our plan game and fast because, like, it's That's already right. January, That's pretty right. much. Yeah. Like we have one week of December, and then January will fly by, and then it'll be February. Woo. All right. Merry Christmas morning. Closet Talk Comfy Edition. Yeah, I'm getting used to you being in here with me. <laughs> there's there's enough space for both of us. Yes. <laughs> and it just means we keep getting matching shoes. That's never a bad thing. Matching shoes. So we are re-upping this year. Yeah, like she said, this is the Comfy Edition. As you can tell, we're in our robes. We're mm -hmm. comfy and our our house slippers are just kind of getting, kind of get wore out. I'm With losing, the I'm losing these. the, I love these now. The, they're so cute and bright and pretty, but I'm losing the fuzz on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I have no more grip on the bottom of mine. Yeah, his are slippery. So, so we decided this year. To upgrade. That was our Christmas gift to each other. We got us some new Udge slippers. <laughs> we said upgrade you. Yeah. You want to show yours off? Are these yours or uh, mine? These are yours. These are mine. You get to go first. Hold this one, please. Look at them. So we both increased the soul level. Yeah. If you could increase mine. <laughs> yeah. My soul level was super flat. Yeah. But these. These have a real soul. Real nice soul. Probably about a half inch. Got better grip on the bottoms and... They kind of go around my foot a little bit more, so they'll keep my foot a little warmer. That's mine. Pretty much the same color for me. They don't have the thing down the middle. Yeah. Like the, the partition. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to like that. So yeah, that's my style. Cool. Now, let's check out the wifeys. Alright. Mm. I forgot how much I like yours. I'm so excited to wear them. We've that's been waiting to so... wear them. That's Woo! like two, three inches. I love the sole because I'm short and it allows me to reach things like the yeah. fan cord <laughs> that, that I wouldn't normally be helps. able to reach. Um, but these are even bigger than the ones that I had. And they have this cute little strap on the back. And these will just go with everything, you know, because yeah. they are the OG uh, color. I love them. These, I mean, yours do have the partition, which that's okay. Yeah. But we match this year too. So. Same colors. 
Yeah. This was our one of our Christmas gifts to each other. So, yeah, the Ugg slippers. Yeah. Very I really cool. like them, though. Um, I'm super excited. Yeah. They're going to be nice. Fuzz is nice and new. Yeah, that's going to be a nice part. How mm -hmm. nice the fuzz is going to feel. The fur, or yeah. whatever you want to call it. So, you can see my... My size difference oh, here. Yeah. Let's do that. Just a little, a little lift. I'm definitely gonna feel a difference. <laughs> you'll, you'll feel a difference too, though, because oh my gosh, it's like double. I thought these were tall. <laughs> these are really yeah, those tall. Are, those are crazy tall. So hopefully I don't break my ankle in them. But they the have the strap on these. Yes. So that'll the be strap nice. will definitely help. Yeah, and mine have like kind of like the grip like yours have. Yeah, so. it's like a full Ugg sole. Like, yeah, we probably could take these outside, but... Yeah, I think they're intended to be both, but we they're usually just... going to stay indoors. Yeah, we like to have our inside shoes. Yeah, so we're going to get comfy, watch something on our couch. Yeah, and they our match Uggs. our couch. They do match our couch. <laughs> we are definitely feeling this color. Totally. So yeah, that's this week's Closet Talk.